The Quran explains the existence of the sea and the events that occurred. Natural phenomena about the sea are also explained. Surat al-Baqarah verse 164. Indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth, the alternation of night and day, the ark that sails in the sea carrying what is useful for humans, and what God sends down from the sky in the form of water, then with that water he revives the earth after it dies dry, and he spread on the earth all kinds of animals, and the grinding of winds and clouds controlled between the heavens and the earth. Verily, there are signs of God's oneness and greatness for people who think. Surah and Namel verse 61. Or who has made the earth a dwelling place, and who made rivers in its gaps, and who made mountains to strengthen it and made a separation between two seas? Is there another God besides Allah? In fact, actually, most of them do not know. Surah al Furqan verse 53. And he is the one who allowed two seas to flow, side by side, this one is fresh and fresh and the other is salty and bitter, and he made between them a wall and a boundary that obstructs.